Hello, Aries. This is your quick and general reading, and this is a full moon reading. You know, it's taken me a while to get these readings out. Mercury retrograde has been really challenging for me. Um, every time, I think this this is my second attempt for you. I did a previous recording for you, Aries, and what happened was the uh, my voice just, you know, didn't get recorded properly for some reason. I sounded like a, a robot simulated <laughs> voice. And um, and then, you know, I did a whole lot of reading and, and they all did not come out well. And I did um, for another sign, I did a second time recording and that did not turn out well too. So it has been very challenging past few days recording and nothing coming out, you know, the way we want to. So sometimes we just have to surrender and then try again. Okay. And so we are back here, Aries. So I'm going to do a five card reading for this full moon spread. All right. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Shama Tan and I am a spiritual teacher and intuitive therapist. And I use the cards sometimes in my therapy work with my clients. And of course, I offer tarot readings as well. If you'd like to book a session, the details on how to book it is below this video. So five card spread. And uh, we are going to use this particular deck as a clarifier or for more information. And now we're going to pick one card from this deck. This is a really nice deck. It's the new uh, set of cards that I got, you know. And uh, we are going to ask for a message from Spirit. Okay. So can we have a message from Spirit for Aries? And oops, why did I do that? I'm not supposed to flip it open. So I'm going to lay it down and then I'm going to open another one for you. Okay. <laughs> so we are going to open this and, and look at this, you know, at the end. So let's see. Full moon is coming up on the 30th and 31st of August, depending on where you are located. Now, it is an interesting full moon. And if you want to know more about what this full moon is all about, there is a an article that I've written. The link is below this video. You can go check it out. All right. Now, first card represents the energies of the full moon for you. And we have the moon. The moon, <laughs> clarified by the moon. How interesting. So what's going to happen is the full moon is going to shine light into some of your deep, dark places. Places that maybe uh, have been unknown to you for a long time. Um, the unknown, right? There is some form of illumination, uh, some form of brightness shining into darker parts or unknown parts. Let's see, can we have more information? So you are going through a transition. You Maybe you, you might not know that you're going through, well, you know, I mean, if you're going through a transition, I'm sure you know. But for some strange reason here, this is telling us that you are going through some change, uh, moving into calmer waters. And I feel like... Um, also, you know, there's a message coming up for you that tells you that um, as you enter into this new um, new cycle of life, uh, it's important to be able to accept lessons, right? And to know that everything that happens in life is part of some lesson that we are learning. Uh, but you are moving towards calmer waters, definitely. Uh, it's nice. You're leaving some things behind that no longer serves you. This is really good. And then we have Six of Cups, right? Um, Six of Cups is about healing going back into childhood um you see these kids right i'm not sure where they can see but there are little kids here so this is a little bit nostalgic i feel that um maybe for some of you some childhood memories may surface some childhood traumas childhood pain may surface which may in a way um, I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to use the word force, but because things may surprise you as they come up, right? So some of your past pain, emotional pain especially, will surface, and it's very important for you to address them because I would say this is an opportunity for healing. This is an opportunity for you to clear the blocks, right? The lighter we are emotionally, the clearer we are mentally the better we are in accepting abundance or opportunities and you know ability to see opportunities will be much sharper so you 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 would have an opportunity to deal with some of the things emotional pain that you have not addressed as yet all right aries very very important 
you know, um, I feel like for many of you, you just want to, you know, as a fire sign, right? You just want to um, use a lot of brute force, you know, to to force things to happen. But sometimes when it comes to emotional pain, emotional healing, you you if it creates a block, it creates a block. There's no way you can brute force your way into success unless you have you have dealt with some of your childhood pains, right? Some of the things that you, yeah, some of the pain that have not been addressed, especially from your childhood. Think about the times when you experience pain um, as a child from, you know, age zero up to the age of 16, all right? These are some of the blocks that are important for you to work through and to address, okay? So let's look at the card number two. Card number two is about the energy Um what can you learn from the energy of this full moon? I feel like we have talked a lot about this already, but um, we have two of ones. Two of ones is about planning and making a decision. So I feel this is about a decision. Are you going to make a decision to look back at your past, to heal childhood pains, emotional baggage that needs to be cleared? Because we can't just sweep our emo emotional baggage and you know sweep them under the carpet and hope that they disappear. They, <laughs> they don't, right? They are just going to accumulate. And um, disease on the emotional level when not addressed becomes a disease on the physical level, all right? And, and I feel this is something that um, I need to educate Aries. Well, Aries has a tendency to use a lot of brute force and uh, charge through, but... An emotional block is an emotional block. No matter how you charge through, this will still remain a block if you do not address them, okay? And see, this is exactly what I'm talking about, right? The pain, the emotional pain, um, the trauma that you experience. This is a three of sorts. Three of sorts represents trauma, pain, uh, hurt, grief, you know, all the things that we experience or feeling broken as a person. You may not feel broken now, but at one point in your life, you did feel broken, um, maybe as a child, as a teenager, in your early adult years, th this needs to be addressed. I feel like this is this full moon energy is has a certain level of urgency, urging you to address these things. Now, bear in mind this is a general reading, so take what resonates and drop the rest. But I do feel that this is a very powerful and strong message for Aries in general. Most of you, I think, would would have to deal with this. Okay. Um, let me see. If you feel like you do, did not go through any trauma, then think about right now in your life, in your relationship, whether with your life partner or with people around you, um, what do you avoid? Are you Do you avoid confrontations? Are you afraid to talk about how you feel? Now, these are all signs of how uh, past pain and trauma, sometimes, you know, we're so unaware of the pain that we experience when we were younger that we block them out and we don't want to confront them and we think that's healthy we think that's normal but it's not okay and i do have to say that it's not and and energies don't lie yeah um let's see one more card here okay king of swords king of swords asking you to be very honest with yourself um, king of swords is asking you to work with honesty to be honest with yourself, to basically look for truth, okay? Stand for truth. All right, so let's see. Third card represents a cycle in your life that's coming to completion. And we have the moon card again. And this is a new moon. Can we have more? I feel, uh, okay, I need to get from this deck. That's a new moon. Something coming up in a new moon for you. Let's see. Again, we have this three hairs. Okay, these two cards so far are not part of the tarot. Very interesting that you have this. But I also feel the three hairs represent uh, abundance. So that's a nice card to have. But let's see. We need one more just to... Seven ones. Okay. So something is coming. Let's talk about this first before I go back to this, Okay. So seven of wands uh, represents the energies of being convicted, being um, standing your ground and being convicted to your, your growth and development. So there's something coming to an end in com coming to a completion, coming, you know, a cycle coming to an end. And you do need to stand your ground. 
so that you can make greater progress. And we have here four of wands. Okay, this has to do with family. Um, I feel like the, that you have been experiencing some instability in the family. Um, because four of wands is usually about family, right? It's about uh community, it's about harmony. But because this is a this has been something that you have not addressed. So for many of you, I feel that it has to do with, you know, um this the um, something that has not been stable in your life, especially when it comes to relationships with people, um, family. Uh, with friends, social circle, marriage, right? It has not been stable. It has not been, and that's coming to an end. And and how is that coming to an end? Is that you need to be convicted. You need to stand your ground and ask yourself, how do I want to resolve this challenge that, I'm, that I have in my relationships with others? How do I want to stand my ground, right? This is about convicted. Making a decision and standing your ground. And when you do that, you find that you have greater abundance coming in. There is a greater flow of energy. You can't leave things hanging and pretend it, it did not happen. All right, one more. See, the hangman. So hangman is telling us that you, you are going to gain a new perspective. Um, you may need to really go through some change, a change in the way you see things, Um a change in the way you see your family, your relationship or your marriage and do something about it. There's definitely a need for you to do something about it and not just leave things as they are because they will not solve on their own. <laughs> All right? Things will not solve on their own, um, especially when it comes to relationships, marriages, family life or, or um, social. Like, I mean, if you've had, um, uh you know, some some misunderstanding with friends, you know, social circle, you know, the things are not resolved, then there is a need to communicate, all right? So that, you know, this is a particular cycle of the, I feel like the procrastination when it comes to addressing emotional things, that has to come to an end because if you want to grow as a person, you want greater abundance, you do need to resolve all of these things that are coming, you know, that, the full moon is showing up and telling you, okay? Now let's look at the fourth card. Fourth card is uh, talking about a part of your life that craves nourishment. The Empress, yeah. The Empress energy is, you know, uh, a really wonderful energy. It's about expression of beauty, expression of, it's also about manifesting something. So this is something that you are craving for. Like you've been trying to manifest things, but things are not moving in the direction that you want them to move. Let's see why. Well, I mean, we kind of know why, right? <laughs> we kind of know why because you, you have not addressed some of your emotional blocks, but let's get some clarifiers for here. Okay. So Aries, we have the page of cups. Yeah. There is a need to for you to explore uh, some of the inner child pains. Page of Cups is a very, very inner child energy. It's a very childlike energy. And so in order for you to connect more with the Empress energy, um, you need you do need to nourish the child within. And it goes back to what we were talking about, right? The heartache, the emotional pain, the trauma, the grief, the pain, whatever you have experienced in the past that you have not addressed, it needs addressing. You do need to work through them. I know this is not the kind of reading that you want, but this full moon energy is presenting this to us, okay, Aries? So I, don't shoot the messenger. So magician, very nice. Magician tells you that when you are when you clear all this, you know, all your baggage, you will have greater ability to manifest and you're able to turn your vision into reality. You cannot turn vision to reality if you have this backlog. It's as simple as that. It is a block, okay? Blockages are blockages. They're not there to um, punish us. You know, it's nothing like that at all. It's simply because they are a block, right? Now, if you can clear the block, then you have a greater ability to use the resources within you. Resources would be your own inner power, your own knowledge, your own vision, and your own consciousness, okay? Now, fifth card represents what you can do um, to connect to your highest potential, the hermit. So yeah, you need to take some time to be a hermit. To be a hermit means to like to uh, go into self-introspection, 
to go into reflecting, to contemplate, to meditate, to think more about what is it that you need to do to make the changes. So um, August 30th, 31st, slow, slow things down, right? Not to be so outer active, spend more time alone and do some deeper contemplation about all the past pains. Uh, seek the help of a professional to work through some of your trauma is necessary. And when you go through that, you will be inspired with newness. The Ace of Wands is a very nice cut for new beginnings, right? So you do need to hermit. You do need to go through all this in order to have this new beginning, new opportunity, new projects, and very nice. You will receive what you, you will receive what you want, basically. Okay. Um, I feel like your reading tells us a story, right? It's a journey. You have to go through these and then you get to the end where you are, you know, Six of Pentacles is really about receiving uh, material help, even uh, receiving or sharing wealth, you know, experiencing gratitude, uh, experiencing support, experiencing a lot of good stuff coming in. But you need to clear the blocks. <laughs> okay, you need to clear the blocks so that it can come. Now, let's see what the message from Spirit is. Remember the one that I flipped open? It says here, My faith has the power to turn trauma into healing, conflict into growth, and fear into love. I kid you not. This is exactly what it's saying. It's asking you to turn your trauma into healing. Trauma from the past that you have not dealt with, right? Uh, whatever conflict that you're experiencing with family, within your relationships, marriage. Remember what I talked about earlier on? right? Turn into growth. And then anything that you're afraid of, turn it into love. Second card, the more energy and intention I bring to my faith, the more fearless and free I am. This is lovely. Okay, Aries, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. If this resonates, I ask for a nice energy exchange. You know, if you can comment, it'll be good. Um, the more interaction I get from my viewers, you know, from my video, it helps my channel to grow. It helps my algorithm. And then I can continue to do more of these free readings for all of you. So appreciate your help in this. And I look forward to um, doing your reading for the month of September. Sounds really exciting as you enter into this new phase. All right. I'll see you again. Bye for now.